Another beautiful day here in Southern California. Here we're at the home of WellTech Designs. I'm Jeremy and I'm gonna walk you through what we are doing here at WellTech Designs as we are about to lift this awesome motorhome you see behind me. What we have here is a Class C RV. This is a Thor Outlaw. This also has the rear garage in this RV. So he'll be adding a decent amount of weight to the rear. In order to accommodate that new weight, we've also built a set of custom springs. In a second, I'll take you over there just to show you how massive these springs are for this RV, which is gonna be really cool. Um, but I wanna walk you through how we go about lifting these, what's all involved in it, and how awesome these things not only look, but ride when they're all done. So let's go take a look at this RV. Let's take a look at the components that are gonna go into it. Um, we're also gonna kind of show you how to do the install. However, the install on this is very similar to our Baja Grocery Getter Kit. So if you're thinking about doing your own lift kit, make sure you can go ahead and check the button up there right now. I'm gonna put a card up there and you can go click the link to our Baja Grocery Getter Kit if you're thinking about doing this install yourself. So for now, let's go take a look at what we have going on here and what's gonna go into lifting this Outlaw RV. Let's go take a look. So this thing is awesome. This is brand new. You can see how low this thing really sits to the ground. This is Collins. Collins put an awesome set of Moto Metal wheels on it. But the biggest problem that you're gonna see with these people is just how low that leveler right there is off the ground. And just to give you an idea, of what we're actually talking about. There's my fist. So, you know, that thing's maybe, you know, five inches, four inches off the ground. So that thing sits really low, and you can see on the other side, it's very similar. At that low, it's even just pulling in and out of driveways can make this thing very difficult. So that's the biggest thing is, you know, getting these off the ground, giving it more gr ground clearance in order to get to where you're gonna wanna go. So as you can see, this is on an E450 chassis. Very similar to the vans. And we'll go take a look at the back now. And in the back of this, you can see there's not a ton of room in there. He's gone with a set of awesome all-terrain KO2s. And these tires right here, as you can see, are a 225, 75, 16. Um, you can kind of see in there a little bit about the Leafs. And as we look into the back of this, the same sort of thing. These levelers sit really low to the ground. Now with this much overhang on the back of these, those are bound to drag. And if you look at them, you can already see where they've drug a little bit already in what he's done with this. So this is the Outlaw, and this also has the garage in the back. You know, but depending on where you wanna go with this coach, it's definitely isn't giving you a ton of ground clearance. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go take a look at all the parts you're going to get with this kit. Let's go see. All right, so take a look here. This is our RV kit. These are all the components that we're going to be putting on this RV. So the bent I-beams, these are gonna be our radius arms that we're doing on it. There's the radius arms brackets. We're gonna be doing box shocks in the front. And then you can see the Fox shocks in the rear. You're gonna get all new bushings in it and check out those massive coils that are going in there that are almost darn as long as the radius arms. So those are the new coils, our sway bar drop links. Um, and not only in this kit are we going to be adding all of these components, but the other thing we're gonna add is this right here, which is our steering stabilizer kit. So this is the whole steering stabilizer kit. So in this video too, we plan on showing you guys how to install the steering stabilizer. So if you want to do that at home, you can totally do that. It's really easy. You just need a drill and a 916 wrench, a three quarter wrench, and you got that thing handled. So once again, there's all the parts that we're going to be installing on the front of this. Let's go take a look at what we're doing in the rear. Take a look at these monsters right here. This is a set of springs right here. So this coach is weighing about 11,000 pounds for the coach, plus he's gonna be able to add, he wants to be able to put a couple Harleys in the back, which will be no problem for these springs. You'll see another nice thing that we do on the springs is that double military wrap in the front. That makes it really nice, a lot stronger on that main leaf. 
So there's a set of the monster leaves that we're going to be putting in there. Well, next is let's go dive into this coach and start installing this kit. So as you can see, this front end is going to be very similar to any van front end. Um, we are going to eliminate this steering stabilizer that's on here due to the fact that we're just going to run our own Fox steering stabilizer. Other than that, I'm going to have you guys refer to like the Baja Grocery Getter video um, to like get into more details on how to take this apart. And then we'll get into like some of the subtle differences on this kit that you will have to do in order to install it versus like the Baja Grocery Getter. So once again, I'll put that card up here in the top of the screen so you can reference that video. But here's just a quick look at the bottom of your suspension. All right, so the biggest obstacle when installing this kit are the levelers. Luckily, they did not weld them on very well. They didn't even paint them. So what we will do is we'll just take a cutoff wheel now and cut that weld we will peel the spacer off, and then once the spacer is off, we can put on our extended radius arm brackets, and then we'll just go ahead and weld that on and make it look nice. You can see all the rest of the components are all off and ready to go once we remove that bracket. So we'll show you how to do that now. So now we are ready to install this. You can see we have the radius arm bolted to the I-beam, and the bracket is clamped to the frame where it's going to go. So what we'll do is we'll weld the bracket on and then once the bracket is welded back on we can now replace the leveling jack where it's going to go on the frame. So that's a look at the radius arm bracket before and there's your radius arm. Alright, so there is a look at now once the leveler has been welded back onto the frame. You can see the radius arm there and there's still clearance between the bracket and the radius arm. And you can kind of see why that radius arm, why the bracket has to be removed in order to weld that bracket on completely. So as we back up, you can kind of see there's your overall look at when it's done, what it looks like. There you go, you can see the coils, the Fox shocks are in there. And there's the extended radius arms. This thing's almost ready to put on the ground. So right now what we're doing is we're installing these blocks. This block is gonna drop your sway bar all down. What that's gonna do is it just helps keep everything clear so that it's not going to rub your tire rod or anything of that nature if the suspension does droop all the way out. Alright guys, we're back. Here's the finished Baja Grocery Getter kit on this RV. Let's see if we can get in there. You can see now it's got the coils. There's those extended radius arms. This thing is looking sweet. Go back, take a look at this thing. Here's the big thing that you'll notice now is look at how much room we have there from the levelers. You can see we're about 10 inches now is what that ended up measuring as far as distance from the ground to the bottom of that. Let's go take a look at the back. So you can see these massive new springs in there. These things are giant, all kinds of arc in order to lift the rear of this. And now there's the rear leveler, which you'll see has all kinds of room also. Ton of room now in the back of this. Go back here and take a look at this. Woo! Right now you can see we have the hood open. We are making a new light bar mount that's going to go sit right here behind the grill in this. So for any of you guys that have an RV or even a 2008 a newer van and you want a light bar behind your grill, similar to what we have going on there, that will be completely doable. So this is pretty nice. Moto Metal wheels. And you can see that he's got a lot of room in here now. A lot of room in there now to run a bigger tire. We've also pushed it forward, giving it 
you know, more room behind the wheel well here, which is going to be really nice. And then last but not least, we have our Fox steering stabilizer and our brackets. A really nice add-on to any of these. Really easy to install. Just a few bolts. You can see the bolts there. That bolts into the cross member. We will uh, have to do a short little video showing you how to install these. But overall, really an easy kit to install if you want to do it at home or you'd like us to do it. But uh, there it is, the Baja Grocery Getter Kit on an RV.